What's going on, everybody? Soliaka here, and I'm going to tell you what you're about to watch. You know, as much as I have issues with some law enforcement, this is completely just crazy. So, huh, let's get right into it. Don't forget hit that like, share, and that subscribe button. And uh, Soliaka, deuces. There will be no police officers to respond to calls in Pembroke Park. That's because the town's contract with the Broward Sheriff's Office is expiring and the town's new department will not be ready. Local 10's investigator Jeff Weinsier is live in Pembroke Park with what this all means. Jeff. Very serious come October 1st. No deputies, no October police 1st. officers on the streets to respond to any calls in the town of Pembroke Park. And the town's own attorney at a meeting recently warned the mayor the decision to cancel BSO's contract without a backup is very concerning. I don't know what would happen if... Holy shit. You mean to tell me that they're not going to renew their contract with BSO and they don't have a police department already there. They don't have enough law enforcement in Pembroke Park right now. Are you kidding me? This is what they're about to do to their citizens. You know, and once again, everybody, you know, I'm all for law and order. Like, as long as you're not hurting somebody, you're not breaking the law. Things should be great, but there are people that are out there trying to break the laws, and that's why you need to have some type of law enforcer or something in place before you get rid of all your law enforcement. I mean, look at look at um what's going on in uh, Seattle in, in Seattle, Washington. You know what I mean? Like this is crazy, but all right, yeah, it's not over. Let's let's keep going serious incident in this town on October 2nd or October This is the attorney. <laughs> I, I, and I don't want to find out that we don't have adequate police services. <laughs> Pembroke Park's town attorney expressing her concern at a recent meeting. So is John Lowe, who manages wow. a business along Hallandale Beach Boulevard. What's going to happen when we need them and there's nobody here? But Mayor Jeffrey Jacobs willing to take the risk. Continuing any contracts with the sheriff's willing department to take a is risk. a disservice to the town of Pembroke Park. <laughs> BSO has provided protection in the town of Pembroke Park for 42 years. September 30th, that ends. The Broward Sheriff's Office has offered the town of Pembroke wow. Park a $3.4 million one-year contract that would cover the gap until Pembroke Park is ready to roll. But the mayor here feels that contract should be month to month. This is about money. Money. It's about how... Oh, man. <clears throat> What's this guy's name? I don't know. I'm, I'll find out this guy's name. I'll put a... I'll leave some information in there. But this mayor, he decided he didn't want this, and he's like, no, we're not having it. So, if anything happens to the citizens in Pembroke Park, it, it's going to be on this guy. This, this mayor is going for everything and anything that happens. Oh, wow. All right, wait. It's not over yet. Let's keep going. How much they could get out of Pembroke Park and not serve our residents in our community. Mayor Jacobs feels the town has been overpaying for service, claims response <laughs> times are too long, referred to a study claiming 21% of calls aren't being responded to. The town says... Oh, this is about money. It's not for the safety of our citizens. Obviously, this guy um, kind of knows that, um, I guess the police have no obligation to protect us, and he's like... Hey, I'm going to save the $3.4 million and say, hey, everybody, you're on your own. Um, people in Pembroke Park, I highly suggest that you get your, get firearms. Get bats, get, get whatever you got to do, because if, if this actually happens, 
<laughs> oh man. Yeah, do you does anybody remember the those um the what should we call it Lives Matter? The Lives Matter group? Remember all that? Yeah. <laughs> this guy's just opening the door. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Twenty-one percent of calls aren't being responded to. The town says only two <laughs> deputies are on duty at any given time. Only, oh, In May, the mayor decided uh, he wanted his own department. <laughs> Commissioner William Hodgkins is concerned about the gap in service and is the only one who voted against eliminating BSO's contract on September 30th. We will find something. Well, we don't know that. I mean, no, that's we will find something. Say, but until we do it, I think we need to cover our butt. I've proven myself. We will find something. Interim Police Chief David Howard says he could open his police department early, but at this point, he has no connection with the county's 911 system. More importantly, what do you need to open? It's the police chief. Need policemen. The Broward Sheriff's Office calling the town's decision irresponsible, irrational, fueled by political antics. Says the mayor's statements about BSO's performance is based on a misunderstanding. <laughs> They don't even have enough. They don't have enough law enforcement to to do anything. They don't have 911. So somebody calls 911 in Pembroke, it goes to BSO. That's not going to respond to this. And so BSO is going to have to give a phone call to Pembroke and say, Hey Pembroke, um, and the whoever, whether I don't know, whoever, if they don't have enough people. Obviously, there's nobody there to pick up the phone or something. This, 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 ah, all right, let's, let's keep going. Of data in a study. By statute, BSO has an obligation to respond to 911 calls in the county, but, quote, the town has been warned that response times to these emergency calls will significantly increase. No exact launch date for this department. They're working on the budget here to hire officers Crazy. to put Crazy. inside these patrol cars. Now, October 1st is a week from Saturday. There'll be no patrolling, no traffic enforcement. A source actually telling me calls like a suspicious person, shoplifting, a noise complaint, even a traffic crash will this, go this unanswered. There'll days. be no officers in the town of Pembroke Park. Now, the mayor is out of town telling me by email today arrangements with other departments are being discussed but wow. right now Holy there cow. is absolutely nothing in writing we're live in Pembroke Park Jeff Weinseer local 10 news what us well you can't make this shit up um uh, Pembroke Park, you know, I'm going to look into a, uh, a town hall meeting or whatnot, and I very well may show up, because even for me, like, it's not that I don't have, it's not that I have a big issue with good law enforcement, um, we all know that, if I've all, I've met, a, I've met quite a few good law enforcers that, you know, just left me alone, and so on and so forth, but this you are leaving your town and I I'm gonna I'll probably put up a little screenshot of the town but I don't care I don't care if there was 20 people in it and I don't care if there's 2,000 or 2 million people in your town you can't just abandon your town without somebody there to protect them or at least try you know traffic crashes you know breaking and enterings you know Things are going to get really kind of crazy for you, and I don't know if you're ready for it, but if you are ready for it, Mayor, whatever your name is, um, like I said, I'll put all that in the description below, and like I said, um, I feel for uh, Broward County and, and Pembroke Park, uh, or actually just Pembroke Park, because their mayor uh, needs to be um, kicked out of office. It's right now is your chance, everybody. Everybody down there, if you're listening to this, I would not put that mayor back in charge. Um, he's saying it's about the money. 
but obviously he doesn't care about your safety. So don't forget to hit the like, share, and that subscribe button. Links will be in the description, and this mayor is a douchebag. So I'm out of here. Soliacker. Deuces.